He's one of the best hitters to watch at the plate. Hello and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always got something to say about the Blue Jays. I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And I'm your host, Adam Peddle. And today we're going to be talking about these recent more trade rumors, as more we always have. More rumors. We have more rumors. So right many now. rumors. I'm <sighs> sure that all of these will come to fruition oh, as they do. It's like we're targeting like life. we're targeting like four different third basemen and like eight different outfielders, and apparently a I catcher be, now. I will be talking <laughs> about this at some point during this video, mm -hmm. but. To clarify, it's going to be Brantley and Turner today for you mm -hmm. guys because that is the most recent sources say <laughs> that we're targeting those guys. So <laughs> the source just watched me like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. the janitor that, that works with Rogers yeah, Center. Right. Uh, yeah, literally the fucking ball boy. Yeah, like, yeah. whatever, whatever. But, we're gonna get into that afterwards. Yeah. Before we get into that, we're uh, just make sure to hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so you can get all up to date info and podcast news on everything Blue Jays today, everything Blue Jays, everything. Everything baseball, really. Yeah, everything baseball. We're getting into everything. And also make sure to check out the Patreon. We got mm -hmm. our first member. Yes. We got our first member. His name is yes. Greg Playlog. No affiliation to Nick Playlog. <laughs> my name, I'm just kidding. It's my dad. Yeah. So shout out to my dad for becoming our first Patreon mega member. Yay. Greg Playlog. Cheers. He, he will, yeah, cheers. He will be giving us a message to say very soon mm -hmm. on the podcast, and we will be doing that. Yes. Um, we'll shout you guys out as well and also give a message if you you become Patreon you members. Become Patreon guys, really, 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 really cheap, three dollars a month. All right. So, I don't even, let's start. With, I'm going to start with Turner because I remember thinking Turner right off the bat when I knew that his contract was going to be up. I remember being like, okay, yeah, like we need a third baseman. I know we need a third baseman, but will he come to Toronto? And I felt like no. But now recent news has come up that we are targeting trade. Uh, Trey Turner, uh, Justin Turner. That'd be nice. Eh? That'd be nice too. That'd be nice. <laughs> uh, Justin Turner, uh, and honestly. My first pin off the bat is, I think we should do it. Dude, it's, anyway, it's, anyway, it's anyway. literally, um, like what I wrote down for both of these guys mm -hmm. is that uh, it's not going to bring us to the World Series. It's not going to take us to, you know, like the next tier, the next level. But do they work team-wise? Are they good fits? Are they good players? Sure. And if you want to sign Turner to, you know, a two-year contract or maybe even just a one-year contract to bridge that until Jordan Groshans potentially, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, like, that doesn't seem like a horrible option to me. Yeah, like, I like I think it's a good option because he's, well, look, he's 36 years old and, you know, he... I he's 35. A one on one website said 36, one website said 35. So I'm, done. I'm just going with 36. Oh, 35, 36. <laughs> All right. And um, he, he's... Uh, you know, he, he's played 12 seasons. He's in the end of his career. Uh, but he's had a great career hit in two, 292. And he's yeah. a veteran, veteran hitter. And, I mean, yeah, he's a great person to plug in for two years in that third base spot. And this market value is only ranked at $13.9 so per yeah, year. I was so, honestly a was bit a shock. surprised yeah. by that. I was kind of expecting him to be more money. Like, Me considering too. that, you know, we could get Turner... For you know, roughly the same price that we paid Dan O'Rourke. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you, I don't know if that adds up to me. And you, but you know, yeah, like that didn't make that doesn't make sense comparing those two. But like, I mean, Turner Turner doesn't known for like his power. Like he's not no. a big home run hitter, and he's not good defensively. Honestly, both him and Brantley aren't known for their outfield abilities or their their overly amazing home run hitting abilities but he's a great veteran reliable piece and like i've been saying i want that veteran reliable piece and he, do you know what's kind of shocking to me is that i was looking at his numbers and this is very strange like it's like he's 76 percentile in hard hit rate he's 76 percentile in exit velocity and he's 93rd percentile in expected slugging hmm. and like he's not really hitting for a lot of power but he's definitely getting on base mm. all the time. Like last year in 2020, he had an on base percentage of 400, and he hit oh, for 307. Yeah. Um, like that's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, like 307, 400 on base percentage. 
Sign me up yeah. every day For of the week. Thirteen point nine million. Yes, please. Yeah, I, I just I, that is that is the kicker though. I, I feel like it's really, gotta be like fifteen. It's, million. I just at I, least at least like he's guy just won a World Series. You yeah, know? seriously. Like, and, and but I think it's because he's thirty six. Maybe he is way older. That is, that is also or a contributing <laughs> factor. Do not get me wrong. He's way older, but he also just hit over three hundred and got on base forty percent of the time. Twenty six runs, only four home runs. 23 RBIs, but, yeah. you know, like, that would be, uh, Turner would be a very reliable piece to slot in. Yeah. I don't think he's going to, you know, necessarily take our team to the next level, like a Trevor Bauer or maybe like a George Springer I think he, in their prime. I but think he fills the lineup out, you know? He'd Absolutely. help. You know, he'd Absolutely. help. Absolutely. He'd help. And if it's a, if it's a low risk, smaller deal, um, you know, I'm, I'm okay to take that dart throw, oh, with, yeah. especially considering and, that we also have Jordan Groshans and waiting in the wings. The thing is with like, Turner, like, I don't even think it's a dart throw. I think he is 292. Like he will hit on high average. It's dude, you all it I mean? is, it's just, you know, the potential of regression, you yeah, know, that's being what, that's 36, it. if that's what he is, 35, 36, if mm. that's what he is. You always need to consider, okay, at any given moment now, this could be the year where we're not hitting 300 anymore. Yeah. Um, so that's the only reason I said dart throw. Mm. As far as his career goes, no, he's been lights out. Yeah. And he also brings in what would be a very veteran uh, presence. Yeah. He Great just player, won coach. a World Series. So he knows what it is to be in the postseason, mm-hmm. to go deep, to win. <gasps> Um, like, That's yeah, what we I, need. yeah, we do. <laughs> we do need that. We do need that. We mm-hmm. need to have a veteran guy. And yeah, Turner for, like I said, shorter term deal, not that much money. Yeah. I'm two, in on it. Two year, 30 million. I'll do two year, 30 million. Oh yeah. I, I definitely oh, yeah. do that. I definitely you know? do that. I don't know if like, I feel like he's going to want more, but you yeah. know, I, I definitely do that. <laughs> what about, uh, what about Michael Brantley? Um, I'm, I kind of honestly do. It's the same thing for me with mm-hmm. Brantley. Um, Brantley across his career has just been so great mm-hmm. at batting average. Like, it's just, like, he's yeah. just a batting average machine. Like I was looking at his expected batting average and it was just like top percentiles, top percentiles, top percentiles. Yeah. And yeah, he doesn't accompany it with a lot of power, but you know, who cares? Oh man. He's the most, like, I, and I, I remember always saying this to you when he was on my fantasy team last or two seasons ago. Yeah. He's one of the best hitters to watch at the plate. He's, yeah, he's the most approach. quiet. He's so quiet and consistent and like doesn't overswing like no. that. Like that's the kind of hitter I would want to hang around all these young hitters. That's the kind yeah, of, that's we're like, always saying, you know, like Bichette you know? swinging out of his ass, yep. swinging out of his ass. Yep. Hernandez used to, and now he's definitely, he has been figuring it out. You know, yep. There's still moments last year, but mm-hmm. you know, he had absolute problems with, Swinging out of his ass. Yeah. Brantley does not swing out never. of his ass. It's very I've much in him. his ass. He's where he controlled. Swings. He's in, um, coming in. Yeah. So, like, I, I, again, similar situation. I'd be okay with it. He is 33, so a little bit younger, you know? Yeah. Um, now, his market value. Yeah, it's sure that more. you looked yeah. Yeah, yeah, from this website. If this is credible, mm-hmm. is far more. It is twenty one point yeah. three million yeah. annually. How do you feel about that? That's a little bit more money for a guy. You know, yeah, he's thirty three and like outfield right now. You know, I'm not as I mean, concerned. Yeah, yeah, I'm not as concerned. However, it's like if we're looking to grab like a George Springer, like, yeah, obviously I'd rather have George Springer, but like George Springer's also gonna want like more than that. He's gonna yeah, want more gonna want than more that. that. So, you know, if we were to get Michael Brown, like, 21.3 is a lot. Like, his projected contract is, like, three years, 63.9 million. I mean, ah, yeah, it's just... Uh, the, He's not it's necessarily not, the piece that I mm-hmm. envisioned. This isn't what I was, like... Yeah. This is what we're buying. Yeah, yeah. You know? but like, don't get me wrong. He's still a very, very good player, mm-hmm. and he would lengthen the lineup. He would be very good, but... Maybe not the piece that I want to shell out. Twenty bucks, twenty one. That's yeah. over Ryu. Like I, I exactly. Like I mean, I could, I could see like, and then maybe, maybe I'm selling Michael Brantley short, but I could see, I do maybe seventeen, eighteen million a year. Right. I could do seventeen, eighteen for two to three years for Michael Brantley. It's the fact that it's like you're literally bringing in this like guy who's been great his whole career and like he's a great clubhouse presence and. You know, you know. Also, another thing I considered, like, where would he even play? Like, he's played left field. He's played a little bit of right field. So yeah, just and those are those are problems that accompany, <laughs> you know, 
going for a guy like that. Yeah. Uh, like, gr- like with Springer, you can just put him in center field. Easy, Gritchick's in the right. Whereas, like, Michael Bradley's played left field most of his career. He's played a little bit of right, so, like, what do you do? Throw him in right and then move Gritchick still in center. And then, yeah, I guess it would be Hernandez as DH. Yeah, Hernandez uh, DH now and then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. To be honest, I didn't really expect us to be going after a guy like Brantley. Yeah. I, I kind of anticipated that we would shoot the shot on Turner at one point or another. Yeah, yeah. Um, if, True. You know, Lemayhu or some of those other guys weren't working out. But yeah, I, I never really anticipated Brantley. I've been waiting for us to get a report about Ozuna. Oh yeah, you brought it up. Yeah, I and there's keep, nothing I, on Ozuna. Nothing. I haven't heard a goddamn <laughs> thing. I've heard so much crap about so many players, and I haven't heard anything about a guy who was literally lights out last year, like yeah. one of the better players in all of baseball. Mm-hmm. Where is Marcelo Zuna? I want him to play on our team. Yeah. That's a guy I'd be ready That's to uh, to shell out some big bucks yeah. for. See, he, uh, he's great with the bat, but he's, he's also comparable to Hernandez where he's not as good in the outfield. Yeah. So, you but, know, like it's the bat. Great. Great with, with the, bat. the bat. Like great. Great yeah. with the bat. Yeah. And another player that, and like we said, like there's so many rumors going around and it's like, there's another player that like people keep, well, today they keep talking about it. And that's JT Real Muto that we Ridiculous. were going to, we're targeting JT Real Muto. We have five catchers on our active roster. Why the hell are, why the hell would he even sign with Toronto? Why are we targeting him? It's like, like it's all this. It's all this sources, bro. It's literally it's sources. just sources. It's it's like, sources. Sources say that <laughs> the Toronto Blue Jays are targeting JT Realmuto. Like, wait, where are the sources? Wait, who's saying? Who that? is saying who's that? Saying that sources say that the Blue Jays are maybe gonna trade with the Tampa Bay Rays. <laughs> oh, so you're telling me that maybe there's a potential that we trade with one of the other teams in the league? <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> yes, there's always that potential. Uh, yes, maybe we could sign Real Muto. Where's the meat and potatoes of this? I, I just picture, like, literally, like, two dudes standing around a water cooler, like, hey, Randy. You know, like, they're working for the Blue Jays front office. Like, eh, Randy, you know me crazy? We traded for... JT Romuto. Yeah. Or, or we signed JT Romuto. And, yeah. and then all, all of a sudden someone's walking by in the hallway like, <gasps> yeah. oh my god! Yeah. <gasps> god the Blue Jays are going! The Blue Jays are going! Sports that! Guess what I heard? Randy thinks that we're hitting JT! Yeah. <laughs> it's like, They're like, who the fuck is Randy? <laughs> uh, it's we... a source. <laughs> it's a source, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're not going after JT Romuto. I would literally, I would be I'd... so, so overtly shocked if we went after a guy like that, I bet, it doesn't make sense. I bet I actually do. I take these odds. I bet a hundred dollars for a return of ten that we don't sign. JT oh, guaranteed. guaranteed! It just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make. It any doesn't sense. make any sense. And it's so it's so clickbaity. And this <laughs> video that we're honestly doing, it's kind of like it's, clickbait because we're making a video on clickbait. Yeah. The likelihood of us <laughs> signing Turner or Brantley. It's probably slim, you know. Yeah, like, like we're just, not going to sign all these guys that we're talking about signing. Yeah, probably better chance than signing Trevor Bauer, honestly. Potentially, <laughs> potentially, you know. And and that's the thing, bro. I am so fed up. I'm so fed up with all of these people saying, "Oh, we're going after this guy. We're doing this because a source said it. Who said it? We're not doing that. Like, use your brains, people. It's okay. It's okay. Like, like, I'm just, I just, I just want us to make a move for fuck's sake. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. gosh! When we do, though, it's gonna be nice. There's the well, ar- 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 Oh my god! I can't always fuck up this word. Arbitration. 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 I'm keeping it like Arby's. <laughs> Arbitration. When all the players head to Arby's, <laughs> then yeah. we'll know. Yeah, yeah. Arbitration is December second, so we're gonna find out whether people are gonna be signed back. This includes people like. You know, Chris Bryant, and uh, I believe another one was um, on the Minnesota Twins. Can't think of his name, but like people who are in their arbitration years. So I think the market right now is kind of waiting for December 2nd to roll around to see if anyone, if the market changes at all. So I wouldn't expect to hear anything for at least another week, at least another, yeah, eight days. Oh, dude, I would expect to hear a million things in eight days. Oh, we're yeah. gonna be we're gonna be targeting Mike Trout by Thursday. Yeah, literally, we're gonna be like literally. like acquiring Harper and Garrett Cole and three way <laughs> deal. With it, it's, and they're like they're like no, no sources have confirmed, but hear me out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like this is why this makes sense. It doesn't. You're done. Yeah, like in theory, 
if you look at their bars like you're playing a video game, like yes, but it's not going to happen. No, we gotta get we gotta get realistic. Turner, at least in my mind, That's mildly realistic. realistic. Brantley happen. could happen. We'll see. I don't want it necessarily, not necessarily. but could happen. I'm more interested in Turner. But guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Turner or Brantley, who do you prefer? What's the likelihood of us doing that? Also, you want to at Marcelo Zuna in the comments <laughs> down below? Just be like, hey, Marcel, like, what's happening? You want to come to Toronto? Yeah, we got open we would space. love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would love that. And guys, make sure to hit that notification button and subscribe. And also follow us on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, Radio Public, and Breaker. And also make sure to follow us on our Instagram, where we're posting almost every day, mm -hmm. and our Twitter. And just, you know, also Patreon as well, also by the Patreon, way. Yeah. Like, just, you know. It's always the last thought. <laughs> it's like, right. We're broke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. And go Jays go.